Welcome to our guests today. It's good to have you here. Welcome to St. John the Apostle Catholic Church. I'm tremendously honored to have the presence of the fourth degree Knights of Columbus Honor Guard. Thank you for being here on this special occasion. The evening of storms left some of our neighbors with severe damage to their homes and properties. I understand that Greg Vagadas of our parish lost uh, some outbuildings. Uh, family and home are safe, but um, I'm sure he would welcome any help that you could give. Let's continue to, let's pray for our neighbors and help them as we can. The major fundraiser for the St. Vincent de Paul Society takes place Friday evening with their annual hog roast. St. Vincent de Paul Society does a lot of good for the poor in Monroe County, and you can get a ticket for the hog roast in the West Lobby after Mass today. Parish picnic takes place, rain or shine. We've made provisions inside the activity center. It starts at 1230. The parish provides the main course and the beverages. If you can bring a dish to share, that would be wonderful. If you're not able to do that, you're still very welcome to the parish picnic. Let's all come out and, and enjoy one another's company. Fundraising for the pipe organ project continues. I'm pleased to tell you that uh, most of the components of the organ are now in our possession here, and uh, we've done a good job with the fundraising so far, but we need everybody to be on board. So there are some additional flyers and pledge cards and envelopes by the baptismal font. Happy Father's Day to all of our dads and all of our fathers. I think the response is, and with your spirit, isn't it? <laughs> Some time ago, I gave a homily in which I made a claim that it is an almost certain guarantee that if four words are spoken in any human relationship, good things will happen. Four words that are almost a certain guarantee to strengthen and save marriages, to build new friendships and to fortify existing friendships and to achieve goodwill at work and in business transactions. Those four words, count them, those four words are please, thank you, sorry, and wow. Please, thank you, sorry, and wow. Please, that word that makes the important distinction between a request and a demand. That word that elevates our discourse, a most polite word, a word that we need to say, a word that we need to hear on a regular basis. And when that word is part of our vocabulary, relationships with others will always be better. Please, thank you. Another phrase that needs to be said on a regular basis. Having an eye out for the good in others and being ready, willing, and able to say thank you for a good work or a good word. It makes all the difference in the world when we treat others with that sense of gratitude. Sorry, another word that should be repeated frequently in any relationship. We make mistakes. To err is human, but to forgive is divine. When we say, sorry, we get beyond our selfishness and we indeed are concerned and we show our concern for the needs and the feelings of others. Please, thank you, sorry, and wow. Wow, you did a good job with this. Wow, you look good today. Sometimes it's not just wow, but wow that we need to say. Now, I bring these four words 
for success in human relationships up today on this Trinity Sunday, this day when we focus our attention on the great mystery that God not only makes it possible for us to know that he exists, but he also makes it possible for us to know him. The author of the letter to the Hebrews puts it beautifully when he says that in ancient days, God accomplished this through the prophets and through the marvelous works that he did for the people of Israel. He made it possible for his chosen people not only to know that he exists and that he's watching out from a distance, as it were, but that he cares about them and that he intervenes in their lives so that they might know his wonders, that they might know his love and his mercy. In ancient times, God spoke through the prophets, and in these days, he has spoken through his Son. God so loves the world that he sends into the world his only begotten Son, so that we might not perish, but that we might have eternal life. The only begotten Son of God who enters into our human condition, entering even to the depths of our suffering, so that we might have life and have it to the full. And in this age of the Holy Spirit, God makes it possible not only to know that he exists, and not only to know him, but to be in a relationship with him, a relationship of prayer. It is the Holy Spirit who teaches us how to pray. And our church teaches us that when we pray, there are four kinds of prayer that we can make. And these four kinds of prayer are known by the acronym ACTS. Acts, A-C-T-S, adoration, contrition, thanksgiving, and supplication, types of prayer that bear a striking resemblance to those four important words, please, thank you, sorry, and wow. Adoration is the wow word. In adoration, we acknowledge and we sing the praises of God as we did in the psalm today. How wonderful are all your works, O Lord. How wonderful are the deeds of creation. How wonderful are all the things that you have made for us. Prayers of adoration are those prayers where we express our awe and wonder at what the Lord has done and who he is in our lives. Wow! God is so great. God is so wonderful. Contrition. Prayers of contrition we pray at the beginning of every Mass as we enter into the presence of the Lord. We pray those prayers in the I Confess prayer, the Confitior. We pray those prayers at the end of the day when we acknowledge our sins as we examine our conscience. We pray those prayers when we make a confession, when we confess our sins and we receive in the wonderful sacrament of penance and reconciliation, not only the great mercies of the Lord, but his grace, the grace that helps us to do better and to follow him more faithfully. Adoration, contrition, and thanksgiving. St. Paul urges us, Thank God always and for everything. Never stop offering thanks. For indeed, if we were to try to list all of the ways in which God has been good to us, where would we stop? Where would we stop? Thanksgiving raises us up. Indeed, it is impossible to be both grateful and unhappy at the same time. It is impossible to be both grateful and unhappy at the same time. Expressing prayers of gratitude to God for what we have is the great remedy for sins like 
covetousness and greed and jealousy. Because when we focus our attention on what we have, we have less time to be concerned with what we don't have. Adoration, contrition, thanksgiving, and supplication. Prayers in which we ask the Lord for blessings. Asking him for blessings in our own lives and in the lives of others and in situations throughout our world. We need not be ashamed to ask God for blessings. In fact, he commands us to do so. Seek, and you shall find. Ask, and you shall receive. Knock, and the door will be open to you. Adoration, contrition, thanksgiving, and supplication. Words that correspond to those four words that we use to keep our human relationship strong. Please, thank you, sorry, and wow. And so in this last time that I have from this pulpit, I say to you, please, thank you, sorry, and wow. Thank you for your beautiful presence Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for following the Lord in the communion of the Catholic Church. Thank you for this. Thank you for all that you do around our parish, building up this community of faith to the glory of the Lord. I would be remiss if it, I did not thank in particular the two parish secretaries that I have had Diane Kutcher, Marisa Clauser, they have kept things running. Most days I work for them rather than the other way around. I'm grateful for them. I'm grateful for the young men who have served at the altar so faithfully. So many times at the door of the church after mass, guests will comment to me how impressed they have been with our altar servers and how the disposition and the demeanor of the altar servers has helped them to pray and help them to stay focused upon the awesome mystery of the holy sacrifice of the mass. I thank my altar servers and I thank the friars of the Immaculate not only for their presence at mass today but for the beautiful way in which they lead a, a, a mission of spiritual renewal and evangelization and how they help so many of our parishioners and so many who come from around to grow in holiness and to grow in fidelity through love of the Lord and devotion to his blessed mother, Our Lady. Thank you. Please, please continue to live your faith. Please continue to express your faith. Our world is becoming more and more a world of disbelievers. This is the age of the rise of agnostics and atheists. This is a time when we need more than ever a visible Catholic witness in our world by word and by deed. This is when we need now more than ever you to extend invitations to the doubters and to those who have given up on God to invite them to come and see, come and be part of a faith community, come and be part of the Catholic Church where we not only talk about God but we experience him through the sacraments the means by which he continues his presence to us today. Please keep the faith and please spread the faith. Sorry. I express sorrow for anything that I've done or failed to do that has caused you distress. I take great comfort knowing that in the Baseball Hall of Fame, 
Nobody in there has batted a thousand. In fact, batting somewhere between 300 and 400 will get you in the Hall of Fame. Please accept my sorrow and my apology for anything that I've done that has taken you off course rather than leading you closer to the Lord. And wow, I'm amazed at the moments that we have spent together, especially beautiful family moments, baptisms, First Holy Communions, confirmations, weddings. I'm in awe at the way in which God has worked in hospitals through the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. And above all, I'm amazed at how the Lord continues to be faithful to his promise through the great gift of the Holy Eucharist, the promise he makes, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. How wonderful, how awesome that God keeps his promise in this way, allowing us to receive him in holy communion, allowing us to receive his very body and most precious blood, his real and substantial presence, the bread of life, the cup of eternal salvation, the food of angels, the medicine of immortality. How truly awesome and wonderful God is that he feeds us from this altar and allows our hearts to be united always through the mystery of the Holy Eucharist. Please, thank you, sorry, and wow. <laughs>